Hey guys, it's Charlie. It is December 8th, Tuesday. Um, last year was supposed to be the uh, all-time worst Christmas season uh, that we ever had. And in fact, it was. It was a, a bleak, dismal uh, failure of a, uh, of a retail uh, holiday season. Now, for the last, since March, we've been hearing the, the economy's getting better. We've been hearing that uh, the inventories are dwindling in these retailers, that they've cut their uh, employees back so they're more profitable, and that uh, we are definitely on the strong road to recovery. Um, and in fact, going into November, going into Black Friday, we were told hours after Black Friday ended that we've seen a, a several percentage point increase over last year's Black Friday. Well, when the truth washes out, um, it, it comes up with a number that's about a half a percent increase over last year. Now, even if we accept that as legitimate fact, which I'm highly suspect of to begin with, but even if I accept that as fact, that, that Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, had a, a half a percent increase over last year's shopping season, then that doesn't even remotely account for the severe loss that uh, November showed across the retail sector. I'm going to attach an article, Wall Street Journal uh, article, that shows that um, on average, sales were down 13.3% in November at same-store sales. So even though the hype and the propaganda is join the herd, get out there and spend, uh, take your, your newly uh, uh, acquired unemployment extension and go buy yourself that flat screen TV because the, everybody else is doing it, because we're in the middle of a recovery, the facts are the facts, and the facts are that November was horrible. You even taking into account the half a point increase on Black Friday, November's down 13%, and here's some numbers at some, uh, a few particular uh, major retailers. Abercrombie & Fitch down 14%, Saks down 5.2%, Neiman Marcus down 11.8%, Target down 10%, Kohl's down 17.5%. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind that nobody's talking about is all of these retailers, no matter if it's the discount retailers or if it's the middle of the roads like Target and Kohl's or if it's a high end like Neiman Marcus and Saks, all of them, no matter what sector they're in, are facing upwards of 30% less competition than they were last year because we've had just a huge shakeout in the retail sector. I did a video a, a couple of videos ago where I showed the thousands upon thousands of businesses that were no longer in business. So even with 30% less competition, even with uh, the government and uh, Wall Street pounding recovery uh, down our throats, the best we can muster is a half a percent increase on Black Friday, but we still lose 13.3% for the month of November. And in fact, this report that I'm going to attach to the video shows that the only thing that was sold on Black Friday and November are the ridiculously, insanely discounted items at these stores. Upwards of 70% discount will get merchandise moving off your stores. But anybody that's in the retail business realizes you can't live on loss leaders. You're going to go out of business if all you're selling is your items to get people into the store. And that's exactly what's happened. People are going in. They saved all their money in November for, for uh, Christmas shopping for th after Thanksgiving. They went into the Walmarts of the world. They bought the absolute bottom of the barrel, cheapest thing they could get their hands on, and then they said, that's it. I'm done. I'm out. I'm done Christmas shopping for the year. So, I mean, as, this, uh, as the numbers come out, it's going to uh, continue to reflect that, no, we're not getting uh, any better in the retail sector. No, we're not any closer to recovery. And, in fact, this holiday season is going to be uh, the – death nail for many, many businesses in this country. I'll attach the uh, story with this video. Um, and real quickly, I haven't uh, mentioned it in the last couple of videos, but I want to say thanks to everybody who subscri uh, subscribed. Um, I went over 2,000 subscribers last week, you know, which is hard for me to believe, but uh, uh, thank you all very much for subscribing, and thank you all, uh, all you guys who regularly comment. And there's a bunch of you that, uh, you know, I, I can I'm guarantee that any video I do, I'm going to get a couple hundred comments Usually it's from the same people, um, and I really appreciate it because, uh, I mean, that's the whole reason I keep making these videos is the dialogue back and forth. So thank you to CV1122. She was the first subscriber uh, subscriber about a year ago, and thank you to the other uh, 2,100 that followed. Thank you very much.
So I got 